Hello again everybody, Matt with Big Fish Encounters here. Uh, you seen me release the live scope do-it-yourself kit. Then you seen me build the kit. I left one thing out. That is how to build a power cord to power a panoptics or a live scope unit off of two preferably lithium batteries, effectively doubling your runtime. So how we do that, you can see I got some parts laid out in front of me. I have one charger port that's going to connect to my lithium charger. I have battery number one power leads, one red, one black. On the end of them, I have female spade terminals pre-crimped on. The one, as you can see, that's actually just a fuse holder, nothing special. I'm going to double that with a second one. Inside of there, I have a 4 amp fuse. Do not go much higher than that. So I have two battery leads, one charger. Right here is 14 inches of the live scope cord. And then right here is 24 inches, two feet of the power cord for the echo map units and I think it's also the same one for the chirp units and the older plain CVSV units as well. So we have in total one, two, three, four, five connections we need to make times two. So we have two bare butt connectors. You can actually steal them out of the inside of a yellow 10 to 12 gauge butt connector exactly what i did here you see my shrink wrap we have two pieces of quarter inch about an inch and a half one piece of three sixteenths about an inch and a quarter two pieces of three sixteenths about three quarters of an inch and i want to say that's about three inches of half inch so we are going to start with the charger port i'm going to put these back together I am going to slip the longer 3 16 all the way down here. And this is just going to close our connection right here. The three positive connections on this side, we'll call this the battery side of the cord. I'm going to twist them together. Now we are going to take the quarter inch shrink wrap. We're going to shove that down as far as we can. And then we are going to trim it back a little to make sure that we do not shrink it. It's a touch long. Here is the shrink wrap. On the positive side we're going to go ahead and do the negative side at the same time there's three wires twisted together we're going to go for that other quarter inch piece Make sure we got enough room. That looks good. Okay. That side is done. I'm going to pre-tend these. Just going to throw a little solder on them before we butt connector crimp them. Get my gun hot. And I get a good bubble. I'm going to use that to carry the heat. You'll know when she wants to take the solder. As you can see, that ran right down the wire. Good and hot enough will bubble up again. Set it right in that bubble. And we'll just paint that solder right in. And I'm watching it for it to carry down the wire. That's when I know my joint is hot enough. Two pre-tend leads right there. 
That'll give me some strength when I butt connector them. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I suggest using the dimple side of yours. And give it everything you got. Plus a little more. There is my physical connections. We have three leads right there. We are going to finish off on the other side. Okay, these two connections, we're going to slip down, or the shrink wrap, excuse me. We're going to slip all the way down the cord for later. Okay, the Echo Map power cord that has the communication wires on it. That is a blue and a brown wire. We don't need either of them. Left them out just so that you could see me cut them off. Get them as close as we can. Like they never existed. Okay, I got a one shrink wrap down there. One shrink wrap down here. Now we are going to even them up and we are going to install the half inch shrink wrap onto there. That will be the finisher. So, positive to positive. Negative to negative. And now these are going to be long, so I'm going to trim them a little bit. Now, once again, I am going to pretend this side. Get my solder gun hot. We'll build a little bubble for our heat transfer. Set the wire right in that bubble. Once it's hot enough, it'll accept the solder. I'm looking for it to pull that solder right into the wire. Next side. Okay, we have the electronic sides of the power cord done now. We're going to join the two together. We have red to red. We're going to butt connector that together now. Make sure it's solid. We're going to go black to black. Put connector that side together. Okay. Now the final touches. We're going to add just a little bit more solder there. It's going to be pretty hot to accept this one. But don't get your shrink wrap too warm. Want a good puddle on our gun. Hold that solder right in. I can see it join the butt connector. I'll switch over to this one while she's good and hot. Fill up underneath her a little. Wait for it to take it. 
which is always it's hard enough because it's joining both pieces of metal not just the, the wire you can see it pulls it okay effectively have five wires two on one side three on the other all right get some shrink wrap so i have my two pieces here wiggle and I want to center heat shrink over it we'll go to the other side center the heat shrink break out my heat preferably use one that doesn't have open flame I'm just gonna be very gentle trust me I stayed at a Holiday Inn last night Just gonna slowly bring that to size. All right, you watched me build the cord. I wanna show you how to install it. This is just my 93 SV plus unit with the PS22 pan optics and an ice deucer. I already have the power cord set up on the live scope unit. It's buried under there. I don't wanna mess with it. So you're getting a demo. I'm going to turn it around. My dual battery setup on this one. They are removable. I'm going to take the first one out. Second one. Power wire. Ground wire. I'll stand that in there. Nice and tight. I am going to take the second one, slip that in there. Power is on the bottom here. Ground. Now I will just slip these right through here. I'm going to tip the screen forward so you can see. If I had the live scope, this would turn around and plug in right here with the live scope box sitting behind the screen. Being I do not have that, I just have the 93 attached. We are just going to unplug this power cord. One connection, put a little loop in the bottom of it. There is the power connection there. Slide the battery back in. Rotate the screen down. Charger port. Out of the way. Power it back up. There you go. One functional power cord for the live scope or the pan optics units. Just a little bit different wiring each way. Um, I get enough interest. Maybe I'll show you that little bit of adding on the spring clamps or butt connectors for the pan optics PS22.